So I just want to talk about um, scale in ZBrush and how that affects other packages and what you can do about it. So um, in ZBrush, if you select the tool, you can go down to size and you can inspect the object scale. And this gives you, I think, the scale of the bounding box. And you can see that this guy at the moment is 8 in size, roughly. Um, now, ideally, uh, ZBrush prefers everything to be a size of 2. 8 isn't too bad, but 2 is better. Um, and when it's set up to 2, then um, all the dynamic features work really well. Uh, when you get out like above that, I don't know, like 100 or something, then things tend to fail. Uh, Dynamesh won't work properly. The dynamic brush size will always be wrong, and it's a pain in the butt. So no matter what you're doing, this size will probably want to be 2. So it doesn't matter if you're working on a uh, 200-foot giant or a 2-foot dwarf. Still set that size to 2. So... Um, you can do this um, if you've got a single tool you can just go in here and you can type to and that will set the size of your object uh, now if you've got multiple sub tools it's a little bit more complicated um, but there's only one sub tool here uh, and you'd have to go in and you'd have to use uh, this little transpose all selected sub tools feature but I'm not going to go into that now so um, I could carry on working on this now, set the size, but I'm gonna kind of leave it. We're just gonna export this guy straight to Max. So um, Gozi doesn't work, unfortunately, for 2018. Which is a pain in the butt. Fix it, guys, please. Anyway, um, so we're gonna export. Uh, we're gonna call it Hulk Test. And jump into Max, and we'll import it. So uh, we've got some options here. We don't want to reset the scene. Uh, we don't want to import it as a single mesh. We do want to import it as an editable poly. Don't want to retry again like polygons. Flip YZ will take care of the um, direction it's pointing. Don't need to center pivots, all this stuff. Texture coordinates can be useful. We haven't got any, so we don't need it. Smoothing groups are cool. Uh, import normals from file, yes. Uh, we don't need any materials, so we can turn that off. Uh, so this is what we're going to look at now. So uh, we're not going to convert the units at the moment. We're just going to import it as it is. So let's just do that. So there's our guy. If I right click on him and do the properties, you can see he's got a scale of 0 0.02 meters, which is basically two centimeters. Um, so we've got a little box here and there's going to be very small. Uh, so that's whatever. 0.2 meters. Hmm. Um, bye. So ideally, you can see it's tiny, max. You can see the grid size is tiny. Um, he wants to be the correct size in centimeters and max. And uh, we could just scale him. So I can right click on here. Uh, he's two centimeters high. I want to be two meters high. So we have to do factor of ten thousand to do that. So let's just zoom. And now I can um, just place him on the line here. We can just measure him out a bit. So let's just draw a two meter box here. So that's just about two meters high there. So you can see our guy is the same size as this box now. Now, um, that's okay, you can do that. Um, but if you want to work back and forth between um, ZBrush, it's a bit of a pain because things can go out of alignment. So how do we deal with that? So if we go back to the import dialog, hot test, we can use the convert. So the model units, we can just leave at meters. Our current unit is centimeters, and if I import it, it will sort all out for us. Like that. So if I right click on the object, you can do object properties, you can now see that it's two meters. Which is exactly what we want. Now also this also works on export, so I can go export selected. And we can use the object file again.
from max. There we go. And you can see there is a scale option here. So if we set that to 0 0.01, and then uh, let's see, we keep the flip. That's all good. We don't want materials. Position's good. Faces of quads, which are good. Export that. Done. You go back into ZBrush, I'll just pick a Z sphere at the moment, and then I can import that. Hot test for max. Uh, and there we can go down into the size, and you can see that our size is 2, which is what we want. Okay, so that's how you manage scale when you're going back and forth between ZBrush and other packages. You need to check um, the import settings and the export settings of your scale and set them appropriately. So it's going to be like if you're going in at times 100, you need to go out at 0 0.01. Um, so it's 1 over the point scale if you know the mass. Okay, hope that's helpful and I'll see you all soon.